All right, Chris, we were so excited for this year because we were going to play competitive football. Like, didn't that sound like fun? Mm, Every Sunday, get home from church, sit down and watch the Lions compete. Mm. Because on about 12 Sundays, we didn't see that last year. (laughs) So at 11 or 12, we only saw it happen five or six times. But, well, maybe seven or eight. But we have seen four competitive football games. Does it feel as good as you thought it would? (laughs) (laughs) No, the first two felt great. That third one started slipping against the Vikings. And then this last one, it's just like, I can't do this. Like, this is unbelievable. So you're so right. And you have this idea like, hey, we're playing competitive football. And I I don't like this. I'm like, same. This is. Yeah, what's. I thought this is what we wanted. Turns out. You want to win, right? You, you just <laughs> really want to win. Now exactly. I'm so, I'm so happy that we are able to do things. Offense looks good. You know, th- those things yep. that last year, that was brutal. Really, really was. But, boy, you want to win. And, and when you don't have the opportunity to at the end of games or kind of in that third quarter, right? A lot of, a lot of games were coming back. Or mm-hmm. there's just been a lot of different ways that we've kind of lost this year. But it's just yes. it doesn't feel good throughout the game it doesn't feel good at the end i mean the vikings game felt good all the way to the end it's just not a good feeling that i i thought i would i thought i mean as long as we're competitive just showing yep. signs of improvement i'd be happy i don't think so not, not i don't think so and i i was you know you're competitive against the eagles and you're like okay mm-hmm. you know and and we did a video after this where i was not happy i still wasn't happy you're competitive against the the commanders the manders and you're just like all right we won that game like we straight won that game and then you go to minnesota and it starts to hurt a little more Because you're like, man, we have an opportunity to be tied for the division lead after three games. Like we beat the Vikings, but we lose it. And then we come home and we lose to Geno Smith. We give up. He gets like 320 yards. Penny goes nuts on the ground. Like, I mean, and it's just like, you're not supposed to be competitive against a bad Seahawks team. And it was the complete opposite. If we lost that game 24 to 21, I would have gotten it because of all the injuries on offense. Right. But we didn't lose the game 24 to 21. We lost the game 48 to 45. So it's like we found this really weird way to be competitive and still lose. That's completely opposite of what it should have been. It's mm-hmm. completely opposite of what it should have been. It should have been a defensive victory or a defensive battle because they have a garbage quarterback and over half our offense is injured. Like that's what it should have been. So it just, I think it's the way in which we're competitive. It's just painful. It painful. Bad it words. is. And, and I think you, you make a great point when, when we came home from that Vikings loss and now yep. this Seahawks is a must win. So you put yourself in a, in a, it wasn't a must win, but it was like, we need this for the fan base. We need this for the team. We need this. We need this. And you lose in the fashion that you do. Yeah. And you said it best. The, the Seahawks, we knew the Seahawks were going to run at the end of that game. And we knew when they were going to run. Basically, it didn't matter if it was the end of the game or we knew what they were going to do and we could not stop it. Couldn't stop it was it. just when when we were at the Vikings and we had to run and we had to do things. They knew what we were going to do and they stopped us. They made the plays. And it's just so frustrating to see us not be able to do it. And, you know, another frustrating thing is you talk about being competitive. Just be happy being competitive. You look at the Jaguars. That's the oh, type of competitive don't talk about the Jaguars one darn one it. year turnaround yep. that we've seen over and over throughout the NFL through our through our lifetime watching yes. the Lions where it's like hey, all the time. If, yeah, if we can just and you see franchise after franchise turn around up down, you know, and we're just kind of down we're the whole down. time. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. I can't once, I don't know. once if we're lucky twice in a decade, we'll have a year where we make the wild card and yep. lose and. Yeah. You just you think everything's going good because you got Campbell and you're like, all right, this is what a good coach could be. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you see, what is it, Doug Peterson in Jacksonville? And it's like, no, that's what a good coach does. And I'm not saying that they're going to I mean, we're one and three and they're two and two. It's not that big of a difference. Right. But they have been competitive in each and every game. If I'm a Jacksonville fan, I'm really excited because you got Lawrence. You got I mean, this isn't a Jags, you know, video, but. Like, I'm excited because you got your young quarterback that he's showing signs that he can be the quarterback of the future. But then you come to Detroit, and can I just show you something? I'm not saying we won't use this in other places, but let's just look at this for a second. And 
if I told you Jared Goff's your quarterback and you are going to be number one in points per game, number one in yards per game, number one in points per play, Ooh. number one in yards per play, number one, or sorry, number two in red zone scoring percentage and number one in touchdowns per game. In the NFL, that is our <laughs> offense. It's not like, hey, we're the best offense in points per game. No, every stat, every mm. major important stats, um, points per game, yards per game, yards per play, yards, touchdowns, everything. Red zone scoring. We're number one. We're one in three. Oh, if you How show is that me possible? This, I mean, I, I love the, um, what is it? Yard, no, points per play. That tells yes. me we're not slugging it out. We're, no. we're hitting plays. We're boom, boom, boom. Yes. Big play, big play. Number one, TDs per game. You would have told me. Because I've always thought, hey, if we can just get in the 20s, like you give yourself a chance. No, give yourself a chance. We're in the 30s. Time. We're we're in the upper 30s. Like, and, and we're one in three because you look at the right hand side last. And we, oh, and my I, goodness. <laughs> Opponents point said, per game, 32. Do you know how many teams are in the NFL? Oh, <laughs> 32. It, it, opponent yards per game, 32. Opponent points per play, 32. Oh, opponent yards per play, 31. We're 32 in opponent third down conversion. We're 32 in red zone scoring percentage and 32nd in opponent touchdowns per game. It is a complete opposite. Mm, complete I mean, opposite. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna score four and a half TDs a game, but you're going to give up just a little more and oh lose. Goodness. And it, it, and that's where you and I I've said all, like it. all off season defense you basically have the same guys back but you added hutchinson and you added rodrigo who turns out to be a pleasant surprise you've got mm -hmm. alan fon who's coming back but all mm -hmm. this stuff blah, blah blah even okuda and you just think to yourself we'll be better we gotta be better we were this is this is the column looked just like this last year so what if we're 24 in all those you know and if we were we would we'd be we're, three and one we'd be three and one Hundred percent, we'd be three and one. Yeah, and and I think I think the frustrating thing about it too is this is the side of the ball that everybody's talking about. Oh man, I hope we don't lose Aaron Glenn to a head mm. coaching job next year. Yep, and it's just like, well, I don't think we have to worry about that right now, <laughs> you know. And and so like, I just, it's, I it's, guess that's the silver lining, right? The, the problem is lining. you're stuck with the worst defense and the coordinator I, who did it. I, I, I just, oh, no, I don't understand great. it. This is so, great so anyways, I wanted, to, I wanted to show you that. And, and I just, it, it was one of those things where while I know it's frustrating, it at the same time just kind of puts into some perspective. Um, I don't think we have the number one offense in the NFL all year. I don't. Right. And I don't think we have the 32nd ranked defense in the NFL all year. Nope. Here's the problem. We're losing even with the number one offense. And I think that's the frustrating part about it, where it's just like, it's just a way that we're finding to lose as the lions that we've never found a way to lose as we it's a com, it's a completely new thing. And just to talk to friends, I'm sure those of you out there, we've seen it. Views are down mm -hmm. on the channel. People are getting frustrated and I'm just saying like, let's stick in there. Right. We thought at the beginning of the year, we were a year away. Am I wrong? But it's hard when you go through it. It is. And so what, yeah, I, I have nothing more other than just wait and see and see wait what and see. defensive shakeups, the whole thing. And and I mean, I my I've been I've been my I, I just thought, man, we we can sneak you know steal a few games. I, you know, the first couple games had me believing that like this is gonna be really fun. And then when you it is fun, but then when you lose in, in ways you've never lost, yeah, competing is not fun winning is fun and in the wise words of ricky bobby if you ain't first you're last yes and right now we are in last so that is a lot of fun even behind the bears so hey thank you for watching hit that subscribe button below hit the comments where you at like cheer us up maybe would that be good chris <laughs> to get some comments to cheer us up because we always we always we always read them, can't always respond to all of them, but we love it. And uh, cheer us up a little bit on this one or join us in misery. That's fine too. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.